This is Beth Gout with Georgetown County School District. I'm excited to share with you today a great tool available to you through Discovery Education. Typically, we go to a resource like Discovery Ed when we're interested in enhancing lessons in our classroom. For example, if I'm preparing to teach a unit on electricity, I might begin by going to Discovery Ed and typing electricity into the search box. As you can see, the results are plentiful. As a matter of fact, we have 85 pages of results. One result type that you might find are studio boards, slideshows, or quizzes. These are lessons and activities that were created and contributed by other educators. You have the option of copying these studio lessons and editing them to make them more suitable for your students. However, you also have the ability in Discovery Ed to create your own studio lessons. That's what I want to share with you today. While on the Discovery homepage, simply go to the studio tile here in the middle. When I open up studio, it takes me to my studio. This is where all of the boards that I've created and copied are stored. Today, we're going to create a new studio and we're going to do a slideshow. You also have the option of creating a board, and then there are also some templates that you can look at. But we're going to go straight to slideshow. And as you can see, I have a blank slate to work with. Now, once in the studio slideshow, there are some things I want to show you. First of all, here at the top, if I click on this, I get sort of a timeline view of my slideshow. Obviously, right now I only have one slide, so there's not much to see there yet. Here on the side, the plus sign is where I click to add either media or text to my slideshow. And here I can customize my slideshow. I'm actually going to go here first and show you that right now the default color is sort of this slate gray and there is no background. Here are some background choices. I have images and patterns to choose from. And as you can see, there are not a whole lot to choose from, which may be a good thing. Here are the pattern choices. And again, right now, these are all colored this slate gray color because that is the default color. But let's say that I decided I want to use this, um, I'm going to use this wood grain for my background. I can come up here and change the color. Again, not a whole lot to choose from, but purple seems like a good color choice for me today, so I'm going to go with that. Now I'm going to X out of this, and I'm going to begin to add things to my lesson. If I come up here, there are things that I can add beginning with text. I'm going to give this thing a title. I'm going to stretch it out, and I'm going to type, since I want to do a lesson on electricity, I'm going to type, it's electric. I can highlight this. I can make it bold. I can change the size of it so it's nice and big. And I can also center that and stretch this box. I'll show you what happens when I do that. If I come down here to the Edit button, giving me some choices of giving that box a color. And again, not very many options here, which could be a good thing because too many options sometimes slows us down. And I'm going to go with that. I'm also going to give this a little subtitle because this particular board is going to focus on comparing static and current electricity. And again, I can give that a color if I feel like that's something that I wanted to do. I think I'm going to pull this down so that it's at the bottom of my board. And then I'm going to go find some images to put on this title page. So I'm going to search Discovery Education for some images. I think I'm going to start with static electricity. And I'm going to click on images. Oh, here's a perfect image of static electricity. I'm going to insert that. I'm going to do the same thing for current electricity. 
I found an image to represent current electricity and I'm pretty satisfied with my title slide. So I'm ready to go ahead and get into the meat of my lesson. I'm going to come up here to that timeline view and I'm going to click add slide. And here I'm given some choices of some templates or I can add another blank slide like the one that I started with. I'm actually going to use one of the templates because I know I'm going to put a video segment in this next slide. And this slide is going to be an introduction to static electricity. And I told you earlier that I wanted to explain to you what my quick list was. So now you're going to get a chance to see what that is. I'm going to add something from my quick list. All that means is that before I began making this slideshow, I went to Discovery Ed and I searched electricity and I started finding resources that I might want to use in this lesson. There are three little dots over on the left hand side of those resources and I clicked on those three dots and chose to add them to my quick list. And now, as you can see, I've got several things about electricity that I've saved in my quick list. And I'm going to use this video segment here because it explains very thoroughly what static electricity is. So I'm going to click add to that. And again, you can see that this is a video segment. Now, when I click on this to display it for my children, it can go full screen. Now I'm ready to add another slide. I'm going to add a slide and this time I'm going to use this template because I'm going to ask my students a couple of questions now about static electricity. So when I click add here, I'm going to come down to quiz items and I'm going to choose multiple choice and I'm going to ask a multiple choice question here. I'm going to do the same thing in this box. I've added my multiple choice questions and now I'm ready to do another slide. Not quite finished with static electricity yet, so I'm going to add another slide and this time, uh, this slide's actually going to go with this template. And again, this is going to be centered on static electricity. This time I'm going to add an interactive for the students and I'm going to go to my quick list because I saved this interactive. John Travoltage, it's all about static electricity. Pretty sure that the third graders I would probably share this with have no idea who John Travolta is, but the teachers will enjoy it anyway. I'm also going to add a question here for my students. I'm going to make this one a short answer question. Now, the way this exploration works is the students would click on it and they actually rub John's foot on the carpet and see how many times it takes to rub his foot on the carpet before he gets a shock when he touches the doorknob. So it's a pretty interactive thing for the students. Now, let me pause here and tell you that with studio boards, you can do these whole class with your students or you have the option of assigning them to your students to do individually. Um, I personally believe that one like this would be well suited to go either way or maybe both ways. Uh, again, to add more content, I would just come up here, add a slide, choose the template that I wanted. Here I could maybe give a summary. I could add another video clip if I wanted. I could add uh, more questions. The possibilities are endless. But the cool thing about this is that it automatically saves just like your documents do in Google. So it's there. It knows that I was creating this and I can pull it back up at any time. Here it is. And when I open that up, I can continue to work on it right where I left off. I hope you found this video helpful for how to create your own studio slideshow. 
and I hope that you will utilize this tool with your students.